everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Clear skies. And it is cold out there. Really, really cold. And windy. Recap. This is the morning recap vlog. Not a whole lot went on. Put up a couple uh, product reviews from Tudia. Uploaded a vlog yesterday talking about my appreciation from companies that send me product to review for all of you here on my Project 13 to support these companies that are supporting the team. I mean, they don't, they don't have to do it. You know, I mean, I'm not high on the list when it comes to YouTube reviewers. So the fact that they actually watched my videos and said, hey man, yeah, we like what you're doing over there, here you go. I'm humbled and I appreciate it. So I asked that you would uh, watch those videos, even if you're not gonna purchase the price, just to support support me and what I'm doing here with all of you with this team and, and these companies that are willing to do that so uh, and all the other companies There's, you know I don't have a whole ton of them but I have a few of them but I love what I get and who they're coming from and I've been very blessed to get some really really great products to review and I'm getting better at doing it you know it's it's there's there's <laughs> There's a discipline that comes with reviewing products. It's different than reviewing a smartphone. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I would have to say it's an art. And it's a, it's a continuing thing to learn how to review products. And smartphones as well, but it's, it's an art that I see a lot of YouTube reviewers out there doing it. And man, I'm just like, wow, they got some talent. And I, I'm just starting out, you know? And learning how to do this whoever thought that I would be in front of a camera shooting video reviewing products let alone smartphones talking and chit chatting with all of you uh, around the world here locally and around the world I mean it's just it's it's an awesome it's an awesome feeling to be a part of helping and sharing an area that I had no idea in what I was doing and just learning along the way so really cool and having these companies work with me and we work all together we all become a team and um, that support is really needed so that's part of what I did you know I, I, I vlogged I did some product reviews um, talked a little bit about my experience with the Moto Z2 Force in the uh, Sony Xperia XA XZ Ultra don't want to say XA, XZ Ultra. I'll tell you this, those two devices are just enjoyable. I'm having so much fun, totally stoked and spending the money on those two devices. Going into the holidays, I would really recommend that as the price points are, are going up and down, every week is changing, uh, to look into devices that have been overlooked. I would have to say, that the Moto Z2 Force and the uh, Sony Xperia XZ Ultra are just two devices due to price point mainly and then of course there's the marketing of these devices especially here in the US with the Sony uh, and then I know a lot of you want that fingerprint reader with the Sony that's not here in the US but is internationally just two devices. I mean, they have the reasons why they weren't, or maybe at this point, still not doing as good, even with the price points dropping. There's many reasons that go into that, but it has to start with how they marketed these devices and where the price points were placed. It had nothing to do with whether they were a really good device in itself, each of these two devices. They are great devices. I'm having a lot of fun, money well spent. Pat myself on the back. 
they are great devices like any other device they have their 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 pros and cons way more pros than cons but they were not marketed right the price points weren't right should have been about a hundred to 150 bucks less Smackarulas should have been a little bit down there to push these devices out. I hate, I really hate it. That's a strong word. When you have excellent devices like this, but they don't get the respect. That price point that was placed on each of the devices, these two devices didn't give them respect for what they really are. I get to enjoy that. Some of you have picked them up because of those price points dropping and you've gotten to enjoy them and understand, wow, these are sweet devices. The Sony Xperia XZ Premium, the Moto Z2 Force, amongst all the other devices that got all the recognition. Underrated, overlooked, passed up, sitting on the bench. Didn't even make it out of the locker room. Are you kidding me? It took price points to drop for them to get known to a lot of you. And that's good. That's good. I I, I wish it didn't take that. I wish they were just put out there in the beginning the, the way they should have been marketing them right when it comes to price for what they really are yeah and now I'm having a lot of fun with them I think they're devices that should really be considered over what is the norm whether it's a Samsung device whether it's an Apple device you know uh, yeah even even when it comes to the HTC 11 which is a phenomenal device these two devices to me Wow, they, they hang in there. They do what they need to do. And in some areas better than the U11. And in some areas the U11 better than, you know, I mean, depending on what device you're talking about, whether it's the Note 8, whether it's the S8, um, it doesn't matter whether it's your uh, iPhone 8, you, whether it's the Essential. Look, another device that gets overlooked. Right now the Razer phone is one of those devices that because of price point, in areas that it doesn't offer, it's getting overlooked. And it's not being marketed. It's not being marketed. Price point is wrong. Another 100, 150 bucks less. Push that out. I'm telling you, man. But it's the way it is. It's the way it is. We don't control that part of it. We just, as techies, as enthusiasts get to venture in those areas because that's what we do. But the average consumer is missing out, is really missing out. I'm hoping that Razer phone drops another hundred bucks here in the next couple weeks. So I'm really still considering that device. All right, I gotta drop off a couple movies. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. You tell me, outside of what I'm telling you, here in the morning recap vlog this last week, I, you know, I, I can go on and on about the Moto Z2 Force and the Sony Xperia XZ Ultra. I, you know, I, I haven't done any really hands-on final reviews. I've given you updates, and I think I've given you enough. I really enjoy these devices. Think about them. As price points are lowered, really consider them. There's a lot to love. Do your homework. Check out the videos that I have and go on that and whatever else you can dig up and make those decisions amongst all the other devices. But you tell me what device out there this year do you think in your mind or in your heart that has been overlooked, has been surpassed, has just not gotten that fair shake as far as a smartphone um, when it comes to devices that are overlooked compared to everything else that is out there. You let me know. 
And that's it. Have a great morning. God bless. Peace. I'm out. The morning recap vlog is done. Officially. Have a great day. Hey!